The Rivals by James Weldon Johnson. Read for LibriVox.org by Linda Marie Nielsen, Vancouver, B.C. Look here, is I ever told you bout the curious way I won? And Eliza, say I never. Well, here's how de thing was done. Liz, you know, was mighty pretty. That's been forty years ago. Because to look at her dis minute, you might s'pose that it was so. She was just de greatest traction in de county, and bless de lamb. Ever docky was a courtin, but it lay twist me and Sam. You know, Sam, we both was wookin on de old john tompkins place ne everybody was a watchin to see who's gwin to win de race he 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 now you must rally excuse me for dis snickering but i just han't help from laughin every time i tells dis thing ees was a sayin me and sam walk day side by side he a studdin me a studdin how to win liz for a bride well the race was kinda equal liz was sorta on the fence sam he had the most dollars and i had the most sense things de run along bout even till der come big meeting day sam de thought to win miss liza he'd had found the shoest way and you talk about big maidens none been like it for nor since there was sich a crowd o people dat we had to put up tents there was peachers from the east and there was peachers from the west folks had kilt most even chicken and was fatten up the rest gals had all new white dresses and bought ribbons for de hair fixin fo de opening sunday praying dat they'd be fair dat the rev jasper jones of mount moriah it was load was to preach de opening sermon so you know there was a crowd who dat man was so a preacher he had a voice just like a bull so there ain't no use in saying that the meeting house was full folks was dear from big pine hollow some come way from muddy creek some come just to stay for sunday but de crowd stayed through the week some come riding in top buggies wid de wheels all painted red pulled by mules that run like rabbits each one trying to get ahead other poor folks come driving mules that leaned up gainst the shaft hitched to broke down creaky wagons that look like they'd drop in half but the biggest crowd came walkin with their new shoes on their backs cause was dat they couldn't wear them cause de hills was full of tax fact is it's a job for job a trudgin in de sun and heat down a long and dusty clay road wid your shoes packed full o feet cause they stopped and put dem shoes on when they got most to de do then they had to grin and bear it the tuck good religion shoe but i most forgot my story well at last that sunday came and it seemed that everybody blin and deef and halt and lame was out in de grove a waitin for de meeting to begin ef dat crowd had got converted twould a been de end o sin liz wooder dare in all her glory purty as a big snow flower 
I can member how she looked just same as twas de very hell but to make my story shorter while we was a waitin der down de road we spied a cloud o dust dat filled up all de air and as we kept on lookin out from monks dat were very cloud sam on mars john's big mule caesar rode right slam up in de crowd you just out to see dat darky clare i like to lost my breath fool to use a common expression he was bout nigh dressed to death he had slipped to town dat saturday didn't let nobody know and had carried all his cash and left it in de dry goods store he had on a brand new suit o store bought clothes a high plug hat he looked zackly like a gentleman tain no use denyin that when he got down off dat mule and bowed to lisa i could see how she looked at him so admiring and just kinder glanced at me den i know to win dat gal i should need some other means sides a hangin round big meeting in a suit o oh humspun jeans when they blow de horn for peaching and de crowd all went inside i just felt as do i'd like to go off in de woods and hide so i stayed outside de meeting set underneath de trees seemed to me i sought der ages with my elbows on my knees when they sung dat hymn nobody knows de trouble dat i see seems to me dat days was singin every word of it for me just how long i might had sought der actin like a cussed fool i don't know but it just happened that i looked and saw sam's mule and the thought comes slowly tricklin through my brain right there and then that perhaps with some persuasion i could make that mule my friend and i just kept on thinkin and i kept a lookin round till i spied two great big sand spurs right close to me on de ground well i took dem spurs and put em underneath o caesar's saddle so dey pressed down on his backbone soon as sam had got a straddle twas a pretty ticklish job and just soon as it was done i went back where i was sittin for to wait and see de fun pretty soon he come to people just a swarming out they do talkin bout de powerful sermon never heard de likes before how de monas fell de convicted just de same a lumps o lead how dat some was still a laying some as if they been struck dead and to reckly here come lisa sam a strollin by her side and it seemed to me dat darky's smile was bout twelve inches wide looked to me like he had swelled up to bout twice his natural size and i heard him say i'd like you to be your escort tonight, miss liz then he made a bow just like he gwine to make a speech in school and walk just easy proud as mars john or to untie his mule when sam's foot first touch the syrup he knew there was something wrong cause the mule began to tremble and to sorter side along when sam raised his weight to mount him caesar bristled up his ear when sam sought down in de saddle 
then that mule commenced to rear and he reared and pitched and capered only ease a mule kin pitch till he flung sam clean from off him landed him square in a ditch when that darky rise will rally i felt kinder bad for him he had bust dem cheap so breeches from de center to de rim all de plug hat does was left him was de brim round his neck smeared with mud from top to bottom well he was a sight i speck was de folks a laughin well sure i just surely thought they bust was sam a laughin twas de fust time dat i ever heard him cuss well sam sling off the backwoods i walked slowly home with lees when i asked just one question der wump something in her eyes made me know de was no need o oh, answer bein said and i just felt like de whole world was spinnin round my head so i said lees when we married must i wear some stole but clothes she says jeans is good enough for any poor folk heaven knows if homely virtues draw from me a tune in happy jingle or a half sad croon or if the smouldering future should inspire my hand to strike the seer's prophetic lyre or if injustice brutishness and wrong should make a blasting trumpet of my song o oh god give beauty and strength truth to my words or may they fall like sweetly cadenced chords or burn like beacon fires from out the dark or speed like arrows swift and sure to the mark end of poem this recording is in the public domain end of fifty years and other poems by james weldon johnson